everyone, this is Mrs. Wyatt, and welcome back for week 10 of school. I hope you had a really great fall break. I miss you all over break, but I'm excited to get started on the next part. So your assignments this week are the following. The very first thing you need to do is watch this video, which you're doing right now. Good job. The second thing you need to do is to fill in your vocabulary list four in your practice paper, which we will look at. The third thing is to complete the tone emojis assignment. And the last thing is to complete the tone mood writing assignment. So I'm going to go through your vocabulary right now. And we are going to look at this together. So our very first sentence, or our very first word is the word emotion. And an emotion is a feeling. And you see here I have different pictures of different emotions being shown here. My sentence says, my emotion is sad when I see someone who's homeless. Emotion. Your second word is the word tone. And when we talk about tone in English class, it means the author's emotion and feeling. My picture here is of someone saying, I can't do it. It's showing the author's tone. And my sentence is, I wrote a letter with an angry tone to my mom when she grounded me. The third word is the word mood. The mood is the emotion the reader feels. So the emotion you feel when you read the story. I um, showed a picture of a person crying while she reads a book because the mood is sad, right? And then my sentence is, I have a nervous mood when I read scary stories. The fourth word is the word voice. Now, I know that your voice is what you speak with, right? But in writing, it's how the author writes the story. It's their, their um, specific style or the way they write it. So right here it says, the author's voice is funny because she uses funny words. It's her style. It's the way she does something. Number five is the word setting. This is where and when the story takes place. So you see pictures of different settings and I think we've had this word before so this is more of a review and my sentence says the setting of the story is in a school the last word is the word suspense this means being nervous about what will happen next and you see how my picture I've got a guy oh he looks so nervous right because that's what suspense is it's it's like when you just can't wait to find out what's gonna happen my sentence says, the scary movie kept me in suspense as I watched the ghost. All right. After you do your vocabulary, um, you are going to go to your next assignment, which is the tone emojis assignment. And it looks like this. For this assignment, you're going to look at each picture and you're going to choose a feeling that matches that picture. So, for example, this one is pretty happy, so I would choose the word happy and write it down here. And that's what the tone emojis. Then you're going to rank them from the worst emoji to the best emoji. What's the worst feeling to the best feeling? And this is your opinion. And then you're going to choose one emotion to make a tone, and you're going to write a sentence. So if I chose the tone happy, I'm going to write a sentence that makes me feel happy, like, um, the day was sunny and pretty. I was excited to see my friend. I'm not going to use the word happy, but I'm going to write a sentence about being happy. And that's what you do for that assignment. I'm sorry if you can hear a bunch of running. It's my dogs are in the background playing. The next assignment is the tone mood writing practice. So for this one, you're going to write a sentence with a sad tone. Write two sentences with an excited tone. Then you're going to read this and you're going to decide what tone is being used. And then you're going to write a somewhat a, a sentence that will make someone feel peaceful and calm. I hope that that helps you get started on your work this week. Please make sure you do the vocabulary and the vocabulary practice as well. Bye, everyone. Let me know if you have any questions.